Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabanso. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. And we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today we got a very interesting show for you guys. Before we get into it, uh, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, we have a poll in the comments that we want you guys to check out and fill out for us. Only take you three to five minutes. If you have an opportunity to win some Amazon gift cards, we're going to be giving that out in the next few weeks. So make sure you go ahead and fill that out. We appreciate that. Anyway, let me get into this right here. Boy, oh boy, did we have a very, very exciting game in the association yesterday between the new york knicks and the philadelphia 76ers and i watched that game it was entertaining from beginning to start but especially especially in the second half of that game i think we need to just go ahead and say it right now jalen brunson is a bad boy he ain't none to play with. And I picked the Sixers to advance in this series. I mean, the, the, not the, the Sixers, the Knicks to advance in this series. And I think I picked the Knicks to advance against the Pacers. I got the Knicks going to the Eastern Conference Finals, losing to the Celtics. That was my original pick for the, for the Eastern Conference playoffs, right? I got some of the, my picks wrong in the Western Conference. But last night was a thriller, man, in Philly. It was an absolute thriller, and they made big play after big play after big play. And at the end of it, I got to look at the player of the game and really the player of this series is Jalen Brunson because Jalen Brunson is a bad boy and we really need to get into his numbers today so that's what we want to get into but before we even get into that this video is brought to you by our sponsor Price Picks which is the largest daily fantasy sports platform in North America Price Picks is really simple instead of just selecting a team you just select two or more players pick more or less their projected stats and then you place your entry. For example, this week, I'm selecting two entries. Stephen Curry for more than 25 points. And then I got Anthony Davis for more than two blocks. And Damian Lillard for more for more than four three-pointers made. Price Picks is also the only daily sports platform with an injury insurance policy. So, for example, if you have a player who gets injured in the first half and doesn't return to the second half, that player gets automatically rebooted. What I also love about Price Picks is that it offers weekly promotions like Taco Tuesdays. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. So go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match of up to $100. That's go to pricepick.com slash CLNS, use code CLNS for a first deposit match to, of up to $100. And remember, whenever you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So let's get into some of Jalen Brunson's stats, these playoffs, man. This dude right here, first of all, yesterday... In that game, and it wasn't the only one, Josh Hart and all of them were making some big plays. Jalen Brunson, actually the Knicks starting five, all of them were in double figures. Uh, Dante DiVincenzo had 23, Isaiah Hartenstein had 14 and nine rebounds. Uh, OG Ananobi had 19 and nine rebounds. He was doing his thing. Josh Hart has 16 points and 14 rebounds with six offensive rebounds. Yo, that is six offensive rebounds. Uh, in that game that was absolutely incredible let's let's get into and Jalen Brunson finished that game with 41 points 12 assists uh and only two turnovers shooting 48 percent from the field and 37 and a half percent uh from the three let's get into his stats let me see if I can pull up uh his playoff stats here because this dude is an he's been absolutely uh balling here this this season he is averaging in the playoffs in six games for the Knicks get this 35 points a game 35 and a half points per game on 43% shooting from the field, 33%, 30% shooting from the, from the three, 77.8% from the free throw line while getting you nine assists, 4.5 rebounds as a six, how tall is he? Six foot two point guard and getting you what? 0 0.7 steals a game with only 2.8 turnovers. I want to get into some of his numbers uh, in, 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 in the, in, in this series here. We got to talk about it. Game one. I want to see how many points he scored in game one. In game one, he finished that game. Let me see what he got in game one. Uh, he finished the game with 22 points. That's what he scored in game one. In game two, this is when the Knicks went up 2-0 uh, on the series. In game two, he scored uh, 24 points. In game three, this is the game where the Philadelphia 76ers they came back and won that game. 
he scored 39 points in game three. Game four, just listen to to these numbers. Game four, he goes out there and scores 47 points, which I believe was a New York Knicks playoff record. Then, game five, get this. Game five, he goes out there and he scores uh, what did he score? Tyrese might have 46. He had 40. So those are three straight 40 point games. And last night he finishes that game with 41 point. So Jalen Brunson had four straight games of 40 plus in a playoff series. 40 as a six foot two guard playing for the New York Knicks. Oh my gosh. You can't make this up. You cannot make... He is one of the best players in the playoffs right now. And if you consider his size and what he's doing at his size, it's even more remarkable. And the Dallas Mavericks made a huge mistake, at least now, it looks like, of letting go of him and not paying him that money that he wanted. Because look at what he's doing. with. Imagine if he had another legitimate score. Like a legitimate guy that can go get you 25 a night. Just how good the New York Knicks would be. So what he has been doing, man, is absolutely incredible. And I love it for the New York Knicks. If I'm being honest, I grew up in you. I love it. Let the Knicks do well in the playoffs for a change. And now they're about to have another classic series against the Knicks against versus the Indiana, the Indiana, Indiana Pacers. And you remember those battles that they used to have with Reggie Miller and all of these guys in the past. We're going to have that again. And I hope it's a chippy, uh, uh, exciting series. There's nothing like when... The New York Knicks are doing well, and the and Madison Square Garden is rocking. I absolutely loved it. It was a hell of a game. He wasn't the only one that played well in that game, but it feels damn good to see the New York Knicks do well. So shout out to Jalen Brunson, man, for having another for having a beast mode uh, series, and I think he's gonna keep it up in these playoffs if he if if he continues to uh, remain healthy. So these are my thoughts. What I want to know from you guys: number one, what do you think about that game? What do you think about Jalen Brunson's performances performances thus far in the playoffs? And number two, how far do you think the Knicks can go? And do you have them beating uh, the Indiana Pacers? Whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comments, and we catch you on the next show. Peace.